hi friends if you are facing this startup repair error startup repair could not repair your pc in this video i will show you some troubleshooting steps to fix this issue so let's start first click on this advanced option then click on troubleshoot then click on advanced option then click on system restore in my system i don't have any restore point but if you have any restore point, you will get a chance to restore your system to the back date to solve this issue. So now move on to a next step. Click on troubleshoot, then click on advanced option, then click on a command prompt. Now you have to type a command chkdsk space slash f space slash r space c colon. This command will repair your hard disk. So simply type this command then press enter. Now move on to a next command sfc space slash scan now type this command then press enter. A verification process has been completed successfully. Now type the next command bootrack space slash fix mbr type this command then press enter. Now type the next command bootrack space slash fix boot type this command then press enter. Now type the next command bootrack space slash nt60 space sys. Now type exit. Now click on continue and it will fix your issue. If you are still getting the same issue, now move on to a next method. Click on troubleshoot, then click on advanced option. Now click on this startup repair option. This option will repair your startup files. Click on this option. If this method is unable to resolve your issue, you can see the same error line startup repair could not repair your PC. Now move on to a next method. Click on advanced option, then click on troubleshoot, then click on advanced option. Now click on command prompt. Now you have to type some more commands. The first command is C colon, then press enter. Now type the next command cd slash windows slash system32 slash config. Type this command, then press enter. Now type the next command md space backup now type the next command copy space star dot star space backup now type the next command cd space reach back press enter if you get an option to press yes no or all in that case press a for all then press enter and after that exit this window now click on continue and your system will open in a normal mode if you are still getting the same issue now move on to a next method again click on troubleshoot then click on advanced option then click on uninstall updates if you recently installed any windows update manually in this method you have to uninstall that update simply click on this option to uninstall the updates and it will fix your issue now move on to our final method if you are still getting the same issue the final method will be click on troubleshoot then click on reset this pc so this is our final method if you are still getting the same issue in this method we are going to reset our pc so you have two options keep my files or remove everything if you choose the second option remove everything in that case your all the data and software will remove but if you want to keep your files select the first option now click on local reinstall now you can see the details in this process your pc will go back to their default mode your data will remain safe as you can see keep personal files but your softwares will remove in this process so this is your last method and in this method your data your desktop data and other partition data will remain safe only your softwares will remove in this process.
So simply click on reset and this process will start and it will take around half an hour to complete. So this is your last method. So these are the troubleshooting steps you can apply. Thank you.